You have an idea for a business you want to start, an app or maybe a platform that you have been dreaming of that you think could have a big impact on the world, but you don't know where to start. You're not alone. A lot of founders are actually non-technical. But what if I told you that there is a hack for you to build your idea today? In this video, we'll go from zero to one. I'll build an entire app in two hours without writing a single line of code. And for this, we'll use a groundbreaking tool called Flutterflow. It's a YC bad company that has a lot of potential. I think a lot of the apps and prototypes of the future will be built with it. The app I want us to create is the mobile version of the last code bender, an idea I built in a previous video. It's a gamified platform that teaches people how to code. So we're gonna purposely refrain from using code to build an app that teaches people how to code. Yeah. All right, time starts now. We have two hours, let's go. Setting up for the flow is easy. I used it the first time today and it's pretty quick to pick up. In the middle of the screen, you have your app. In the left side menu, you have elements like text, fields, images, icons, and all sorts of things that you can add. There is a database that you can configure to store your data. And you can add actions like navigating to a different screen or saving something to a database. For an app, the main challenge is that we want to recreate what we had in the web version. So we need an area where users will be able to write code and execute it based on the new concepts that they're learning. But here, I don't see how we can do it with an app builder. Like they usually don't handle things like that unless we use some custom functions. And we said that we wouldn't write any code in this video. Bingo. Actually, I have an idea. We are limited because we're trying to recreate the exact same experience as we had on the web and make it into mobile. But a mobile is a different device. You don't have to recreate the exact same experience. So if you're a little bit creative, you can find another solution. And what I'm thinking of doing right now is to create a gamified quiz app that asks programming questions. And you know, if you check the template that we're using, it's a to-do list app. And I feel like there are a lot of features that we could reuse to speed up our development. Like for example, this screen is a list of tasks essentially. We could take that screen and make it a list of quizzes that students can pick from. And when they click on one of them, they essentially just open the quiz and complete it. So let's try that. We are 20 minutes in. First thing, I actually wanna set up our database. We need a way to store our challenges and then pull them in the app, right? So we'll create a new collection. Quizzes will have names, questions, answer choices, and solutions. Now we can configure the screen to pull a list from that quiz collection. And then I'm customizing the styling of the template just a little. All of this took me about 30 minutes, so we have one hour left to go. Now I wanna set up the screen so that when you click on an item, it opens the actual quiz. But it's not clear how to do it. It seems you need to pass some parameters to identify a quiz. So I spent some time digging into how to do it and I found a video tutorial. When I got that solved and I was able to pass the parameter, I moved to the next screen, the quiz itself. Now here we need to create answer choices and make sure variables are set up correctly in the settings so that it pulls the data from the parameters we just passed. When people answer a question, I also want to show them some kind of game visual like we had in the web version. The narrative of the app is that the user becomes or takes the role of a hero programmer whose country has been infected by a new virus and they have to defeat that virus. So the game visuals will be around that. I essentially got them from a game developer on Fiverr who created an entire game for me. Made a video about that also some time ago. And uh, I just took screenshots of that game and modified them to fit into into our app. Okay, we've been working on this app for one hour 30, so we only have 30 minutes left. I need to be fast. Again, to speed things up, I'm gonna reuse one of the screens of the template and make it our solution screen. It's the screen users will see when they answer a question. I also need to quickly check that all the button interactions are correct on every screen and everything points to the right places. There are a couple of small issues there I noticed that need to be fixed. And just before we can test the app, I add some questions to the database so we have something to interact with. Okay, I wanna test what we have so far, um, just to see if that works. So you can log in. The branding is still the old one from the template. I'll change that soon. Boom, nice, yes, it is here. So you see the three quizzes that are being pulled from the database. Variables, if else statements, for loops. If I open one, perfect. Yes, awesome. So you see, um, okay, there's a little error here. So yeah, that text is actually getting cropped. It should come back at the bottom, but it's getting cropped. So this will have to fix the layout. Um, but if we pick an answer right now, Boom, yes, solution, and it shows this. Okay, so the layout needs to be fixed, like some of the styling make this image bigger, and also the branding, the colors. It's quick to do, but we only have 10 minutes. I'll have to go full Ultra Instinct for this one. I replaced the colors everywhere, the logos and some of the sizing, and time's up. Uh, that's it. Our app is built without a single line of code written. A beautiful quiz app that allows you to sign up, create an account, and start answering fun questions about programming concepts. The questions build up your knowledge step by step. In the future, you could add points and more gamification elements. 
you also have a profile page and you can log out. From there, the journey essentially begins. Once you have a prototype that you can use to get some traction, you can start recruiting talented people to join your team and they will help you grow and rebuild it into a complete product. Don't wait till you learn everything to start. Successful people start now and tools like this will help you. We explore more hacks like this one on this channel to go from zero to one. If you want to learn those skills of us, subscribe to join the community and I'll see you later. God bless.